Savvy Jack Blackout Mustache Wax. Will it stain a white shirt? Well, this is a question that I was wondering after I saw this question in a, a video where I actually introduced you guys to the Blackout by Savvy Jack a couple of videos ago. And so I did indeed do a little test on this very shirt, which we'll get to here in a few minutes. But first, I want to take a look at what actually makes Savvy Jack Blackout black. In short, it's a black iron oxide. Well, what does that really mean? Well, for anybody that wants to know like a chemical breakdown of it, it is basically a chemical compound with formula Fe304. And since that means nothing to me, I dug a little bit deeper and essentially it occurs in nature as the mineral magnetite. And as it turns out, it's not a uncommon ingredient in making people look better. In fact, it's used in most women's foundations, mascara, and pretty much every skin toned makeup product that there is. Now, unfortunately, when it is in its very fine dust-like powder, it is harmful to breathe that in. Lucky for us, it is encased in a wax, which means that we don't need to worry about that pretty much at all. Now, if you're the one mixing this, you probably want to be wearing a mask. Now that we have an idea of what black iron oxide is, let's get back to the test that I performed on this very shirt. The first thing I had to do in this test was to obviously get some wax on the shirt. I decided to go ahead and take a little bit right out of the container and smear it right onto the shirt, which is honestly a little bit more than what you would ever get on your shirt if you're just putting it on. In fact, it's probably more than what anything that might be left over on your fingers after applying it would be. After I did that, I went ahead and threw it in my laundry basket and it sat for a day before I just threw it into the washing machine with the rest of my clothes. And this is the result after it came out of the wash. As you can see, it is a little bit lighter, but it's still very visible. So obviously, just throwing your shirt or your towel into the wash isn't gonna be enough for this. So I decided to give one of the remedies that I found online, which was vinegar and a little bit of salt in a slurry and let it sit for a half an hour before rinsing it out. And so that's exactly what I did. And when I rinsed it out, I even put a little bit of pressure and rubbed my fingers around on it before I rinsed it out. And as you can see here with it still wet, it didn't really change anything. So since that didn't work, I decided to take some of my regular laundry detergent. I put it on there fairly thick, let it sit for about 15 seconds as I walked my butt back to the sink. As soon as I got back to the sink, I started rubbing that soap around and almost immediately I started seeing that the uh, blackout was indeed lightening up. So I rubbed on it for a few seconds more and uh, put it underneath some warm water and continued to kind of scrub on it like that. And this is the result that I got after doing that for maybe a minute, max it to uh, minutes. And as you can see here, it is still wet, but all of the uh, wax is uh, gone. And as you guys can see, after I dried it in the dryer, there is no more wax stains on it. There isn't even a mark where it was at. So I had to say that although it does take a little bit of scrubbing with your regular detergent, Savvy Jack Blackout can be removed. Now, I'm not the only one that has done this test. In fact, Savvy Jack himself commented on this very question. And this is his response to the very question that sparked this video. He says, good question. For the most part, no. In my testing on white clothes, it has come out of a cotton t-shirt or other uh, fabric with a somewhat tight weave with soap, water, and soft scrubbing. However, in fabric with open, loose fibers, like a fluffy towel, it is more difficult to get out. Not impossible, but difficult. Also, in these tests, I really smeared a good bit into the fibers. This is more than you would be likely to encounter while taking off a shirt, for example. I did not test this in machine washing, but will do so and let you know. Take care and thanks for your interest. Now my thoughts on his comment is that makes total sense to me. Mainly because through doing the research, black iron oxide itself doesn't have any dying power as it needs to be in something like wax or another medium to be able to actually make other things black or whatever color oxide you happen to be using at the time. And so I'm not really sure that the black iron oxide is what is making the issue with the longer or looser fibered products like a towel. Because what I actually think it is, is I think it's the wax itself. Because you see the uh, iron oxide is kind of suspended in the wax. And so you need to get rid of the wax to get rid of the iron oxide. 
And from what I have seen in the many years of me using mustache waxes is that on tighter woven fabrics, the wax will rinse out much easier and much quicker than something like a towel. Because once that wax can kind of encase that fabric and has a lot of area space to really latch onto, it's much harder to get the warm water to actually want to rinse it away. But maybe that's a video for another day. But when it comes down to the answer of will Savvy Jack blackout stain clothes, no, although it can mark it up and you will probably need to spend a little bit of time doing a little bit of agitation to get it out of your clothes. But personally, I think that it's kind of a mute question because the only time that I have that much wax on my fingers is when I am doing my mustache and usually it's not even that much once the wax is completely applied. And in that case, I have a scrap towel that I don't mind throwing away if it gets it too bad and I don't want to throw it into the washer. Now, this question might have been wondering about when you're putting a shirt on or taking one off. Well, because it's not like a dye that you're directly putting on your mustache and just leaving it, so it would basically be like a dry erase marker type of deal or a marker type of deal, you can actually rub through the mustache here and I don't have anything on my fingers from doing that. I feel a little bit of wax, but honestly, that's about it. So you're not gonna have that issue of it getting on your clothes or anything while you're just putting it on. So I really wouldn't worry much about the staining or much about this being as dark as it is. Now, I do hope that the poster of this question sees this. If there's any other questions, please make sure to leave them down below in the video descriptions and I will do my best to answer it. Now, if you haven't already seen Savvy Jack's Blackout Mustache Wax video, make sure to check out this video up here. Down below, that's gonna be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.